CAST, which stands for the Center for Autonomous Systems and Technology, is a new center here at Caltech about robotics and autonomous systems. When we formed CAST, uh, we formed along with it five moonshots. These moonshots are meant to be representative problems that really expose or crystallize some of the technical challenges that we want to solve through CAST that will enable a new generation of autonomous platforms. The core premise of CAST is that we want to bring together mechanical engineers, aerospace engineers, computer scientists, and electrical engineers to really work very closely together to unify what we call the body and the mind. So the body are you know, things you think of when you think about hardware, and the mind are things you think about when you think about artificial intelligence. Our robotics work span multiple hardware and software platforms, but we do spend a lot of time with PyTorch as one of the AI tools that we use and that we deploy on our robotic platforms. The one that's most mature uh, is what's called the Neural Lander Project. And what basically is happening there is that we put a neural net to model the aerodynamics of how drone interacts with the ground in order to do smoother landing. If you've ever played with a drone yourself, you'll know that when you try to land the drone and it gets close to the ground, the controller gets very hard to control. And oftentimes what happens is you just cut the controller and cut the power to the drone some small distance from the ground and let it just drop. And if you ever want to achieve smooth landing, what you need to do is actually model the complex interaction to the drone and the ground, which you can think of as a barrier or a boundary effect. And what we've done is we've trained a neural net to actually model that boundary effect extremely accurately, which allows us to do very, very smooth and graceful and agile landing and control close to the ground. Because our goal is to learn the aerodynamics, so first step is definitely collect data. It's during the training process, I will use different tools and different libraries in PyTorch to have different learning optimization. The key technique I'm using is called spectral normalization. So we will collect a bunch of trajectories where the drone is close to the ground if we want to learn the ground effect. Or where the drone is close to other drones if we want to learn the interaction between the drone and other vehicles. After data collection, we will train a neural net on PyTorch using the server in our lab. So in our lab, we have some big vehicle which can run neural net on board. So I will run the trained neural net on some vehicle for the small vehicle which couldn't run the neural net on board, I will run the neural net on my laptop and we will communicate with the small vehicle. Then the small vehicle could also get neural network output. What these general purpose open source platforms like PyTorch enables is they enable the ability to have multiple collaborators contribute to a common framework and to quickly and seamlessly interface multiple techniques and, and modules together and quickly bootstrap and build models and deploy them on our drones in a way that is much more efficient than you know, without having a software package like PyTorch available. I believe that the work that we're doing here at Caltech and CAST represents a significant step in that direction because we are trying to unify the strengths of multiple fields from machine learning to artificial intelligence, aerodynamics and control theory in a way that mitigates the weaknesses of these respective fields. So we believe that this is a significant step towards achieving that dream.